everybody, unboxing time. All right, without further ado, let's not waste words. Um, although, maybe I could have opened it a little bit better. Mostly I pre-opened it this. So, ah, nice. Mm. Okay, let's see what's in here. Oh my. That's a, uh, that's un different, right? So we got three bricks. Is it free? Yeah. Oh, that's fun, fun packed, I must say. It's not bad. Actually, different. All right. There's more here. No, 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 no. All right. Put this back. Plastic. Goodbye. All right, let's start with um, with the first one. I'm gonna put this in here, my tablet. Yeah. I'm gonna check it out. Um, all right, can I use my knife or just can I just open this up without using the knife? Or is it struggle time again? Um, that's a good question. Maybe I can help this. Yeah, this works. Oops, small nut. Everything is gonna work out. Already, uh, I already got a lot of tight books, but smallest volume two. And um, so let's start with this one, with Jericho and the real Raven, in my opinion. Um, so got a lot of Titans. What is it? Yeah, a couple of them. Uh, so I, I need to to figure it out which ones that I have. Um, so these are the new ones, right? Ah. Pariah, War of the Gods. I also got a uh, Peter Parker with Medusa. I always liked this character. Um, but, you know, that was back in the day. Oh, we can, uh, should we open this up? Yeah, sure, why not? I always loved the Peter Parkers. I got the Dutch ones, but, you know, but not with this cover, you know. Peter Parker is Spider-Man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, look at this. Isn't this great? Classic Medusa. Yeah, ads, ads, ads. More ads. Yeah, this is one shot. We're going to take a look at it. You know, nice for the review for my channel. And I'm changing slowly to something else. Dark Side is coming, is gonna disappear. I mean, the name, but uh, we're gonna change it to something more fun. Uh, more Spidey with the swarm and the aftermath. It was a weird villain, a throwaway villain. Also, this was uh, also a fun one with Goliath and uh, Meteor Man, right? He got his powers from Meteor Gas or something, then he can. I'm, did he grow? I, I thought he was always strong, but not in fast, but not that he actually was growing. Maybe that's something to do with the apparatus on his back, but I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, so these are fun classics. Also, with, um, you know, this was the part that the Fantastic Four was in, infiltrated by uh, the Frightful Four, right? Was Medusa also a part of this? I. So we have the Trapster, Electro, Wizard, and Sandman, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, oh yeah, he was on a date with uh, this girl. 
So it was a little bit nasty. Uh, yeah, so we have the Sandman. Yeah, these are the ones. And then um, I don't have the follow-up, but the follow-up was great when they, when they infiltrated um, the Fantastic Four, taking them out one by one. Ah, it was really cool. And then Electro, I believe it was Electro, uh, has a some kind of a suit on that, as you can see here, so he's changing into the Human Torch, uh, deceiving Spider-Man, right? But, you know, Spider-Man says, hey, what, what's that? It's, it's, that's, that's not a flame. It's it's um it's it's an electric bolt, right? So yeah, and I I wish that they go back to Sandman's old costume. I don't know why people hated it. I found it was unique. It was cool. It was all green, and then all with with this mask on, and has his buttons on his um on his belt, and he can change the uh, properties of his powers, right? Making into cement and other things as well. But then he, then he became boring, I don't know, striped shirty guy with brown pants on. I don't know, I never liked that. But, you know, somehow that became iconic, which is really a shame. Then one of my favorite spider villain, uh, spider heroes, uh, White Tiger. Uh, yeah, this, I believe that was the part that he was shot to death uh, or being hurt. And I don't believe he... Uh, survive but you know once upon a time this was my favorite Hector Ayala the white tiger I believe it was Mexican Spanish or something from heritage uh, but yeah great great uh, great hero um, here with killer shriek killer strike again that's yeah, another oh man what happened to all these great villains man so cool um, who are the Gibbon Beetle? Who's this guy? I don't know. Could be Garon, but this looks like the Gibbon. <laughs> um, Craven the Hunter. Uh, was he a... Uh, yeah, he was probably uh, psychedelically induced. Uh, nice. Ah, oh, man, I love these old comics. They are not cheap. Pretty expensive. So range between five and ten bucks. One, hey, uh, you know, just cool classics. Ah, um... Top McFarlane's uh, Spider-Man with the Ghost Rider, number seven. And let's skip this a little bit. I got me also a Teen Titan Spotlight with Hawk, uh, another character that I'm not all too familiar with, well, sort of. And uh, so we take a look at this. I'm not sure if it's good, but, you know, I want to have it. Um, Brotherhood of Evil. Man, that was fun, man. Especially love, I love all of them, right? So it's with Phobia, I believe that's her name, can do, you know, bring out the fears in people. Oh, man. Talking Gorilla with Brain and I believe Mirage. And he's, he can do teleporting things and all that stuff. It's just great. Um, more classic Teen Titans with Wonder Girl. Oh, man. This is, uh, hey, Dark Moon. Woohoo. It's going to be good. Uh, yeah, we can open this up. Why not? Maybe I... Let's see if we can make this through before the 30 minute mark is, is gone. Because my camera can only... Uh, let's, um, can only uh, record 30 minutes or less than and then it goes into another uh, you know, video, which sucks. Uh, also, I never understood the self-insert front. I believe it was, I could be wrong. Maybe you can guys help me if you know the history, but you know, this older guy looks like John Byrne back in the day, self-inserting, you know, and, you know, have, marrying himself to Donna Troy. It's just, I don't know, I never liked that. But hey, it is what it is. So putting this comic back to my comic bag. Um, more Teen Titan Spotlight with Cyborg. Right, uh, Nightwing, this classic costume, um, Aqualad, the real one, who was not gay, uh, but became uh, a sorcerer, yeah, he has, you know, magic powers or sorcerer powers, it was cool, called Tempest, right, yeah, and then we have Magenta, Magenta is, uh, what she is, isn't she a uh, Flash villain? Right? Is this a George Paris cover? I don't know. 
No. Who's this? Yeah, Judge Perez, right? Read and another one that I don't know. Um, and we got another cyborg. Yeah. Cool. I love these. Also, I really wanted to have this. It was also not cheap. Batman Ghosts with Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale. Um, I believe this is a two part. Is this a two part or is it four? Maybe it's, you know, uh, you know, we're going to open this up. So we have the 10 minute mark so we can do it. And it looks in pretty good condition. Yeah. I've never read these, but I was I always wanted to have this. This one gets glowing reviews. Oops. I don't recognize the art, but um, or maybe I do. <laughs> Ghost of Christmas Past. Is this Alfred? Look at this. I like this version of Poison Ivy. White skin instead of green. That's new. I'm not going to spoil everything, but... Um... Yeah, look. Nice. Look at this rendition of uh, the Joker. <laughs> All right, we leave it here. And we're going to open up a uh, another brick of comics. Right. Oh man, it takes forever. Let me rip it open. All right, this is better. Okay, this is going nowhere. <laughs> Let's do it the old-fashioned way. Cutting. And then rip the bottom out. If I can do that. No. Are you kidding me? Now I can. Got me a couple of Micronauts. Still haven't read it. It's a shame. I collect them all, but I don't read it. <laughs> it's just, I need to, to rectify that. Looks great to cover. Also, uh, Gil Kane, a uh, great, fantastic artist. Cover, I mean, by Gil Kane. I mean, yeah. Look at this. It looks so cool. More Gil Kane covers. Uh, more Micronauts. I got a lot of Micronauts, by the way. Psycho Man, old Fantastic Four villain. As you can see, ah, I like it. And they are coming from Inner Space as well, so that's perfect. Man, he covered. These covers are cool. I like it. Look at this. Look at this cover. Isn't this exciting to look at? Holy shit. Centaur? Wow. This as well. I mean, that's why I, what I miss with modern comics. It's all like post covers and, oh, look how beautiful I can draw, right? But then it's just posing. Well, we need more stuff like this, you know? This is exciting to look at. More Micronauts. Yeah. All right, and of course we have the jumping out of the co of, of the you know background cover and then jumping into the into the reader's face. What's this? Um, put this aside. 
Look at this Hydra with the original and the one and only Nick Fury. No race swapping in this timeline. Uh, is this the fixer? I mean, it looks like he has the, 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 the look of the fixer, but I don't know if it is the fixer. I want to know. Let's open this up. And yeah, it's Mentalo and the Fixer, right? They, they were a team back, uh, back in the day, right? Again, an, another couple of, you know, villains that are, you know, disappearing. I know that the Fixer became part of the Thunderbolts, right? But then, you know, also, and he became a good guy. And it works. It, it works. But I always love the old, you know, Fixer with his you know, battle uh, harness with all of weaponry in it. It's just, just great stuff. That looks fun too. A little bit cluttered, but... I mean, you need to bring back the old old villains, right? And, and, and turn them into something dangerous and fun again. Look at this. Oh, so cool. All right, all right, all right. No more, no more. I'm gushing all of these comics. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I miss um, excitement and wonder in, in comics nowadays. It's, it's, it's way too safe, if you ask me. It's way too safe. Way too predictable, way too funzy and cutesy and all that stuff. We need more stuff like this. Michael Golden, the cover. Yeah. There's a lot of Micronauts. Ant-Man. All of these covers are fucking awesome. Uh, so... Why I say Michael Gold? Michael Golden is the artist that uh, remember uh, the, that Avengers comic where uh, Rogue attacked uh, the Avengers and uh, you know stole Miss Marvel's powers. Um, that was him, his art. Molecule Man. Oh, nice. This looks weird. <laughs> he looks like a black man. <laughs> Sorry, but it looks like him. He's not, but. It looks like him. Uh, cool. Yeah. Stuff like this, right? This is so amazing. All right. So this is brick number three. Or uh, two, I mean. So uh, we're going to brick number three. So how many minutes? We are at the 18-minute mark. So yeah, we can do it. We can do it. Right. Next time, it's maybe it's better that I'm using a uh, telephone camera that doesn't have that restriction but you know i don't know how it works with the smaller um, lens and i think this is perfect for stuff like this Let's start with uh, everyone's favorite. Oh, wait a minute. It's, it's... all right. Uh, let's wait for that. Oh, by the way, more Batman, more Micronauts, I mean. So let's finish this. It comes right through the computer screen. Love it. Like I said, this is exciting to look at. Who is this guy? Why is he dead? Why, who are these guys? Right? You want to pick up this in your local comic book store and you want to say, wow, this cover is so cool. I want to know what's inside. Let's pick it up. Right? And then you're going to get this and you said, who is this robot guy? I want to pick it up, etc., etc. Right? And now it's just post comics, post covers, post covers, post covers, post covers. With, and then you still don't know what's happening inside because it's just, hey, look at me. This is uh, Spider Man and Venom doing basketball stuff, right? I mean, it looks cool, but it has nothing to do with what's happening inside of the book. 
And I don't mind post covers. I mean, that's fine. But, you know, at some point... Got me a Batman Dark Allegiance by Howard Chaikin. Uh, I always wonder what this is all about. Is this an Elseworlds? Yes, this is an Elseworlds. Okay. Let's rip it open. It's not in the most perfect condition. It's been used, uh, obviously, and it's this fucking sticker. Well, thankfully, it's on the back and not on the front. Um, God, I hate stickers. How a chicken is uh, is something that people like or dislike. I am I'm in in um, how do you say I'm on the fence with if I like his style, um, but I know he can he can d deliver. <clears throat> and a brown Batman suit that's interesting. Uh, oops, no spoilers, please. Right. Okay. Well. Uh, could be could be could be fun who knows not yet I'm all right this goes back then I I'm gonna fix this oh, like this all right Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to remove that in a little bit later. So, 15 bucks for the set. Not sure if I paid for it because it was on a sale. All right, I have. Oh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to do this, uh, but that a little bit later. <laughs> I got a planetary um, because I want to get more into planetary, not because it's a film made, because I know they're going to fuck it up. I'm gonna screw it up because that's Marvel or DC. I'm sorry, DC. They, they're never gonna get it right. They're gonna screw it up. Uh, but planetary or the authority, are, I mean. Um, so yeah, I, I want to dive more. Uh, planetary is awesome. <laughs> they are freaking badass. And it's by Jimenez. And uh, Jimenez, his art is, as you can see, phenomenal. Um, there's a couple of. Um, Artists call themselves Jimenez, but this is Phil Jimenez. And, uh, well, 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 what do you got here? Like I said, modern comics artists cannot do this anymore. They cannot do it. They cannot do this on this level. Um, there's a couple of them, but, you know, they do also mostly the bare minimum, uh, in my opinion. Lots of Photoshop effects nowadays. Not in here. Not in here. There's some Photoshop, but not the, the, the kind of Photoshop that you see in modern comics. It's just those that modern comics Photoshop is amateur level. Just a couple of swipes and stripes and says, yeah, that'll do. Yeah, that'll do. I always come back to modern comics. I just hate them. I hate modern comics. Well, with modern comics, I mean uh, modern Marvel and, and, and DC comics, they are. Please go bankrupt. I don't care anymore. Um, but then, Justice by Alex Ross and Doug Braithwaite and Jim Kruger. Now, I have the hardcover, oversized hardcover edition in slipcase. And, um, but I always want to tackle it, you know, through my channel. You know, with that, I mean doing a review. And since now I have the floppy edition, I can do that. Now, I must say, it's been a while since I read this, like a billion years ago. Well, no. Well, years ago. So, uh, we're going to open it up. I mean, people who are familiar with Alex Ross's art know that they're in for a treat. If they like uh, Alex Ross's art, uh, I mean. Fuck's sake. I'm sorry. So this is the last one. Let's take a look at the covers, shall we? So first of all, issue number one. Issue number two. Three. No oh man, he's burning. His weakness. Hmm. 
Nice. This is great. Probably Cheetah. The Adam. <laughs> Hawkman, my new favorite DC hero of all time. Um, I'm glad I'm, I, uh, I discovered this, his comics. So much fun. Ah, oh, Bagman Adam. Uh, yeah, back when he, uh, Black Adam was uh, a villain instead of a, oh, now he's an anti-hero. And, and, you know, fuck off. Just be a, let him be a villain. Sinestro with Hal. And this is issue number 12. So let's open it uh, with the, yeah, I want to see what that looks like. I uh, always liked his, uh, Alex Ross's art. Come on, five minutes. I can, I can do it. <laughs> I can do it. Elongated man with Sue. Okay, I'm gonna go a little bit quick here, but you can see what the art looks like. Oh man, epic, 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 epic. Oh, this is classic. Uh, this is classic cheetah. Nice. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I got the hardcover, but you know, um, the I didn't finish it somehow because I don't know. I was busy with other stuff, and then I forgot about it. And then I saw this this uh, floppy and said, "Oh shit! I still got that hardcover somewhere tucked." What's going on? Why are you punching him? Uh, we're going to find out, guys. We're going to do 12 issues with you. We're going to do it all pretty soon. Yeah, it's too bad. Oh, well. I'm happy I got it. Maybe I shouldn't complain. So, guys, last but not least, probably one of the most that I'm looking forward to is uh, Batman How Haunted Gotham by Dog move, Kelly Jones, BD and Vuzzo. Oh, oh, I love Kelly Jones. What is this? <laughs> Look at this cover. It is so cool. Uh, yeah, we're going to open it up uh, the first one. and <laughs> Oh, man. I, I'm excited, man. I'm really excited. Good condition. Oh man, I'm so happy that I can get this. Um, yeah. I'm gonna flip for a, a little bit through it. Uh, but you know, you know my, well, it's not really an obsession, but I really, really, really like Kelly Jones's art. Um, he's, he's fantastic. Especially in the horror department and uh, yeah. So I'm waiting for the hardcover of uh, Batman Red Rain, that trilogy coming out. I'm going to buy that in a heartbeat. Um, I want to get it. Yeah. Look at this. <laughs> it's so cool. This is so cool. I'm enjoying this immensely. Sorry, I'm a little bit giddy. Yeah. So yeah, guys, I'm, I'm leaving it here before my video stops. And uh, yeah, we're going to take a swing on all, a lot of these books. So guys, let me know what you think about this unboxing. Do you, um, yeah, do you enjoy it? I hope you do. If you do, just subscribe to my channel. That would help me a lot. Uh, leave a like, leave a comment. And I see you, of course, oops, in the next video. Bye-bye.